video, we will continue with parametric differentiation. You will find this on page 504 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. The curve has parametric equation x equals cos 2t minus cos t and y equals sin squared t. Find the expression for dy over dx in terms of t. Okay, now let's start with this one. Now, don't forget, in this one, we're going to do the chain rule. So, let's look what I said. I said y equals u squared. So, I might sin. Get my pen correct. I might sin t u. So, u is sin t and then u and uh, y is equal to u squared. Then I differentiate to u and I get 2u. And I differentiate to t and I get cos t. Okay, I was showing you the chapters here just to recall it. So if I differentiate sin, I get cos. Okay, then I multiply and I get this. And this is what I showed you there. Okay, this is x. Now if I differentiate, now in this case, okay, so I'm going to start and I'm going to say dx over dt. Now, I first want to show you this one, and um, this is why I was putting to you chapter 11, the summary, chapter 10, the summary. Really, if you, if you studied all the formulas on the summary, and you're going to have in the exam your formula sheet, then you're going to know all the formulas, really. So, just go back, because sums like this is not on the formula sheet. So, let's just look. So, if it's cos, it's cos AX. A is that 2. So, it's negative. And then the, the 2, the A, sin, and then you repeat 2X. So, that's why it's negative 2 sin 2T. Do you see there? It's coming from there. And then this one is actually very easy because this is just cos T. And if I have cos, there it is. Okay. And then it's negative sin T. And then if I multi, then I get negative 2 sin 2t two plus sin t. Okay, so there it is. And then don't forget the one with the x, we always swap around. And that's what I did there. Okay, uh, basically what I just did is first write the positive and then the negative. I just swapped the two terms. And then if I multiply, I get this. But now I end up with this. And oh, this is what makes this last chapter very challenging. Because you have to, it's a lot of new formulas, and you have to bring the chapters in together. So as soon as you see trigonometry, you must always remember chapter 10, further trigonometry. So if you look there, sin t cos t, if you know that formula, there, do you see it's there? 2 sin a cos a, and then it can go to that double angle. So this one go to the double angle, sin 2t, and then I'm left with that. And leave it like that. You cannot, please don't cancel that out. You can only cancel out if you have one term over one term. Okay, which there is two terms at the bottom. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number two. I decided to do number two. Okay. Again, as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Okay, or you can maybe just sometimes just get a hint and then stop and go further and then get a hint again and go further, just as you wish. But it's the best that you try it yourself. Okay, or even if you watch it and then put it off and then try to do it on your own. Okay, but let's start. A parametric equations of curve. No, I have, and they help you here. Yeah, they call it a parametric. This is very nice. I see there also. Okay. So it's 4 sin theta, and then it's y is equal to 3 minus 2 cos 2 theta. Okay, now we're going to start. Now the first one is going to be very nice and very easy. So it's dx over d theta. Remember, because there's a theta. So if I look at sin, I know where is sin, sin, sin. It's there. So it's going to be 4 cos theta. Very easy. It was just that one. Okay. Now I'm going to start with this one. 
So dy, I will now swap, swap that one around. dy over d theta, not dt, there's a theta. So this one is zero, okay? And then the two, but then look here, and I'm going to show you, this cos two theta, as I said. So find that, that it's this one. So it's going to be negative and in the place it two, and then it's going to be sin, Two theta. Okay. Okay. And if I simplify this, it's going to be four sin two theta. Okay. If I swap this around, so I have d theta over dx, and it's one over four cos theta. Okay. And now I'm going to multiply. And then I'm going to say dy over d theta. Ah, no, dy over dx. And I'm basically just going to multiply that too. So it's going, remember, this is over 1. So it's 4 sin 2 theta over 4 cos theta. Okay, and do you see what happened again? I see double, I see double angle. So, if I see the double, there it is in blue. So, <clears throat> I can basically, there is my double, so I'm going to do it there. So, it's going to be 2 sin theta cos theta. And that is going to be over 4 cos theta. Okay. And then I'm going to simplify it further. So this is going to be 8 sin theta cos theta over 4 cos theta. And now I cancel that going 1, that going 2, and I go for my finals, and that's going to be 2 sin theta. I think if this question was having a B part, we would have used this, but now this was almost like the A part. We just differentiate that. If we went further, we would have bring that into the question. Okay, and that's how you do it.